Hi everyone, this is Charmin E. I've been getting a lot of inquiry lately about how's the Singapore property market doing. So I decided to do a video. I'll be sharing with you guys what is my personal opinion and take on the Singapore property market. Selamat pagi everyone. Nama saya Charmin. Banyak yang tanya di nama degan property market di Singapore. Coba saya sharing sekarang. 大家好,我是小明 So I'll be dividing my sharing into three sections One is the resale market, the rental market and the new launch So let's talk about the resale market right now A lot of our clients have been asking me Hey Charmaine, the price could go up or go down or how ah? Frankly speaking, right now there isn't much transaction for us to compare with so the price is pretty stagnant at the moment. For viewing rate, I did get a tremendous reduction in the inquiry and viewing rate so everything right now is sort of like in a freeze mode, stagnant. For the rental market, in my personal opinion, it gets hit the most. For the month of February, there is more than 10 tenant that exercise the diplomatic clause. For the month of March, I have six tenants that exercise the diplomatic clause. So yeah. The rest of the tenant and landlord basically right now is also trying to stay put, hold on in a very stagnant mood. Those that already have intention for renewal previously, they continue with their renewal. Those that doesn't have intention for renewal previously also look for extension. So I think a lot of tenants are trying not to move out of the country. No, not much movement at the moment, I would say. For the new launch, actually, I would say that the price increase. A lot of developers are increasing price but between 2 to 3% at this moment. Um, in terms of viewing wise, I don't see any difference. The only difference is the way we conduct the viewing. Last time we used to like just walk into the show flat anytime you want, but right now we need to book appointment before we, add, we, we, we go to the show flat. So uh, the developer will give us a slot, like for example, 1 to 2 p.m. You can bring your client and it's actually restricted to probably like two groups per hour. So that's the only difference that I see. All in all, my personal opinion for the sale of property is the prices are pretty resilient given that government actually introduced a few uh, measures to help ease this uh, virus situation. For example, they actually allow us to apply for a deferred payment for your um, principal and interest till end of the year. I think this will help a lot of landlord and property owners to pull through this tough time. And also the interest rates are pretty low in Singapore, so I feel that it's quite okay. And lastly is, I believe that not a lot of y'all are aware. Actually, Singapore, we do not have enough supply of residential and commercial properties. So that's all for today. If you guys would like to have the slides that I mentioned just now regarding the property supply, feel free to contact me. I'll send them to you. See you guys next time. Give me a comment. I think it's very good.